another day another video welcome back to the channel everybody today we are watching you this is episode six of season two hopefully guys have been enjoying the series so far it is really picking up now getting very very interesting you know we have candace she's here in the show in the flesh you know she's in joe's life you can physically see her she's called amy she's dating love's brother forte and it's really interesting last episode they went to kind of like uh, a re-wedding of her parents pretty much you know they was renewing the vows they went there it was kind of like a I don't know, a retreat. It was like a hippie style vibing. They was doing little tasks here and there. They was like meditating and they was just chilling pretty much. He, he, like what was interesting, and Love's mum, yeah, she was smoking weed in, in a tent and she asked Joel to come over. She's getting him to smoke some as well. She's asking him questions. He, he, he was smart enough to figure out it was a test. She was kind of flirting with him, touching his face and, and all that stuff. And he ended up telling her, you know, like he really likes Love and she's like the greatest girl he's ever met and x y and z and kind of like past that now obviously um forte he's trying to gain his dad's approval he's trying to show off his new girlfriend and stuff his dad really wasn't paying much attention to him wasn't showing him much respect if i'm being totally honest um he went and asked him for money as well his dad rejected it he pretty much called him like a bum and told him to get a job um so that was like his relationship with his dad not very good then obviously the vows come and uh, Love was supposed to be doing the, you know, doing a speech. She was struggling. Then Joe managed to bring Forty back around. You know, he brought him back and sat him down. And she was smiling. She gave him a little pit. This sign here, she said it means love. And, like, they was doing it to each other all episode. And they really enjoyed it. Um, And, you know, he managed to bring him and sit him down. And he gave her the sign. And she smiled. And uh, she closed the book. And she just done it off the whim, mate. And she was saying how good the relationship is. They have ups and downs and all this in their life. But, you know, they've been uh, together for so long. And they've got a strong bond. Now, Forty wanted to come up. He wanted to say a speech he ended up saying something um i don't know if he's i can't remember if he said something embarrassing but he was then going to begin to cause a scene and he managed to kind of like usher him away so later on in the episode he was in a tent with his mum and she was hugging him saying everything's going to be okay um love come in her mum started going mad at her literally out of nowhere like that it, it was it was well random you know we went from like happy vibes to like serious stuff she's blaming love for the reason that he's in this state she has one job to look after him uh putting it all on her and then she gave her a backhander right in front of joe as well it's crazy he went in he ended up telling her you know look me i know how it feels to have an abusive parent my dad used to do it to me as well she asked him why he never told her he said obviously you know he didn't really want to bring it up they ended up having a conversation. She ended up saying, is it too early to say that I love you? He said, no, you tell me when it's right, you know. So even though she did tell him that she loves him, he kind of didn't acknowledge it that way. It was pretty good. And then he said, how about that we change a different word, mate? And uh, she had like a little wolf and she was like, how about a wolf here? Yeah, pretty good. You could be part of my pack. I like it. It's really good. Now, obviously, Joe and um, Amy's relationship is really interesting. You know, like they can feel the tension between them. Other people can sense that they're not being like very chill around each other. If she ended up going into like a circle and saying like different things that they want to do. One of uh, Love's friends was saying like, you know, he wants to find love. Um, this year she ended up going there and said she wants to go to italy he knows she's been to italy he's seen the selfies of it she knows that she was mocking him he went in i can't remember what he said now but they had to embrace each other and give each other a hug she ended up getting flashbacks of obviously joe attacking her and then um, you know she ended up running away it's really interesting then we got the flashbacks obviously of what happened with them and how it you no know, steamrolled into this situation right now joe went after her he tried to like you know say don't leave me so to speak when she said that she didn't love him he ended up kidnapping her taking her to the woods and then he was like look mate i'm not trying to assault you or anything look we just need time i've brought a picnic she ended up running away he chased after her he knocked her over he's trying to shake her saying come on mate you don't have to be like this and this is where he banged her head he thought he killed her and he buried her she woke up didn't have any proof that he'd done it but went to the police and he kind of like said you haven't got enough evidence for it told her to you know if you know off the records if someone's trying to kill you and they think you're dead stay dead that was interesting from the police officer but no she wants to come back she wants to get back at joe and the way she's done it is she's possibly leaked to the police that henderson wasn't actually suicidal somebody's actually killed him and now they're going to look into the investigation and we know joe dropped a bit of blood at the crime scene so it's going to be well fascinating she's also give 40 a book as well by guinevere beck and um, you know they're reading it and um love picks it up as well and maybe she gets into it and it's obviously all about joe so it's so interested mate i can't wait to watch today's episode so hopefully guys like it if you do please smash the like it really helps out the channel subscribe if you're new and as always let's jump into episode six of season two of you <laughs>
Henderson. Some dude comes over and dumps wine all over my front on purpose. He took off his own shirt and gave it to me. I heard they found his body in a sex dungeon. Come on, Gabe. I swear to God, if they ever find the cowardly shit stain who did this, I'm going to bash his fucking head in. When my ex attacked me, it was the worst day of my life. I came out stronger. Move in with me. Ditch the B&B &B and be my house for I spy the coveted third totem. Oh, right, you're new here. Okay, so oh my we have this theory, which is that Los Angeles has seven totems, and once you find all of them, you are officially an Angelina. Stuck in L.A. forever, what could be better? Of course, the lie was here with a flask. A celebrity has died suspiciously. They'll work harder to solve it. Did I do enough at the scene? Thanks to 40, I have new intel. Candace has an Airbnb. She needs a place to lower the mask. Yo, mate, the guy's planning to kill her after he's just done more murder. Planning to do enough one is well interesting. The way he needs to do it, I don't know, like... He needs to do it sp spiking them or something. The way Henderson was doing it on the sly where people can't find out, because would that not be the only way you don't leave evidence at a crime scene? The guy's been a rookie a, a few times, um, so he, he needs to be a bit... A bit smarter. He could have done. He could have killed Henderson with an OD in his own house, and nobody would have known if he absolutely spiked that drink with loads of it. That would have been the best way for him to kill. I mean, he did, he never had the real intention to kill them, did he? So I mean, he never, uh, he never planned on it going down this way. But it's interesting that he's just done one, and now he's doing another while he's paranoid that he might be caught for the first one, or like he's six one. I can't remember losing count of all the people he's killing. Now, I said at the start of the season, it would have been interesting. If she was a crazy one, if she was a stalker, it would have been well interesting. But maybe it'd be interesting that she finds out what he's done or who he is. And she's that much in love with him that she just brushes it aside. And, like, she gets on to help him. How mad would that be? Happy anniversary, Mr. Kennedy. Oh, is that a husband? Oh, her hair's different. Oh. It's been a year. Let's do it. And then when we're in our 40s, we can drive around in a big painted van like the Partridge family. If we know what we want, why wait? Yo, I love this sign language. It's absolutely sick. I heard the new walk-in's not hooked up yet. Yo, I like her, man. I actually really like her. She's a good character. I feel bad for 40. He can't resist her Lolita act any more than I could. So what's it going to be, buddy? Do we tango here? Elsewhere it is. Where is she going in such a hurry? Is she meeting someone? That is a cop. Okay, okay, it's possible I'm the tiniest bit paranoid. Mate, the waiting game with the paranoia, that could be the one that does it. Hey, Robert Mitchum is my second favorite Philip Marlowe. Okay, who's your first? Oh, Elliot Gould, of course. I grabbed the fucking curling iron, thought it was the brush. Oh. Okay, just run it under cold water. Here. Elliot, can nah, you mate. Yeah. No connection there. I saw you at Henderson's memorial. Ford used to take up permanent residence in Hendy's anal cavity. Henderson may have gotten what he deserved, but in the eyes of the public, he's a victim. Tonight we're going to be streaming the 1992 classic, The Player, starring Tim Robbins. We have work to do. Ewan? She needs someone right now, yeah. no matter how cool she's acting. Candace can wait till tomorrow. You got any popcorn? Uh, do you know what, right? That, uh, Ella, she's just in a film that's been released. Scream. Uh, she's a girl at the very start of it. Well, she, she's in, she, she's actually in the film. Uh, I was wondering where I've seen her from, and it just popped in my head. Very interesting. She, she acted pretty well in that as well. And do you know what? I kind of like her in this. Um, I mean, I am interested with their characters. She, she's she got a good vibe, like as in like whoever she's acting with, I, I like it. They, they they rub off well with each other. She's she's got a good connection with Joe and her sister as well. You know they've casted them really well in terms of the the chemistry on screen. I, I do enjoy it. So um, like I said, mate, I hope Delilah absolutely nails him because like Joe's just said in his thoughts, in the public eye, he's still a great guy and he's definitely not. We know he's a bad and he needs to be. He needs to go down for it. Oldest of sports. Is a bisexual pescatarian we could get already? <laughs> Giving you a producer credit, bro, Hamulus. Points on the back end and as much festival poon as you can schnorf. You can just make something up like a uh, Bettelheim production. What's Amy's address? She didn't fill it out. Mm, I know it's in Echo Park. Okay, two hours to get the tactical advantage I need to stop Candace. Only two rentals on Loma Vista Lane, and one isn't really her speed. Candace found me, I found her. <laughs> Oh, the copper? He's following her. Toyota Camry, same as yesterday. Maybe Will talked. Jasper's associates got to him in Manila. Nah, 
No, 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 no. Pack of... Yes. No, thank you. Yo, he's hitting all the signs that they said. Did they say the seven things? See, mate, he's hit like three of them already, like in the day or something. Well interesting. Is that the Toyota? No, 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 no. Oh, love, you're having me followed. No, he's no, she's following the other girl. She's furious, or the doors right. are about to fling open with an army of law enforcement. It's hard to say. I'm so sorry. You stood me up. You get to apologize on my time. When I was walking up just now, there was a man. Yeah, that's Alec Gregorian. He's a private detective. Well, I hired him to look into Amy. It's not a big deal unless you find something, right? I think hiring a PI is actually kind of a big deal. I don't know why you're freaking out. You don't even like her. Would you ever hire someone to follow me? I don't know. Why? Should I? The thing is, people take advantage of people with money. Yo, I said this, mate. I said it. I don't know if I said it in the intro or the last episode, but she caught her in a lie. She knows that she's not a producer and she's trying to figure out, is she in it for, she likes her brother, is she in it for the money? I 100% said that in this or the last episode. And it's understandable. It actually is. I totally get where she's coming from. My parents offered to help. Guy that's a hard worker, wants to do it for himself. What a good guy. Can we talk about this? You're just detoxing. I get where he's coming from, man. The guy don't want a handout from anyone. He wants to work for everything. Tomorrow morning, I told him to stop following Amy. I'm sorry for missing her. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> don't apologize. <laughs> no, she's found his house. One's looking after one's house. One's looking after... Oh, mate, imagine if she gets a unit there. Oh, that'd be mad. I'm looking for Will. Oh, sorry. He's not home right now. I love these old deco places. You were at the memorial yesterday, weren't you? He has a pair of earrings I've been trying to get back. What do they look like? Like dangly little green stones? Surely she knows she's dating for and he's uh, dating. Not originally, but that's where I met Will. We were already broken up, so more of a coincidence that we both ended up here. Didn't find any earrings. Thank you so much. Amy. Yeah, no problem. P.I.'s watching it all, man. Well, I, I think you're going to want to see what I found. Can you meet? Of course you can. Mate, it's, as soon as you hear that, I found something. That's it, mate. Investigation back on. You know what I mean? You're not cancelling it. How are little Will caught the eye of Eris, Love, Quinn, and the sneaky girl uh, with the secret ex girl? What are you talking about? Came by looking for earrings. Hey, just because you're dripping in hoo-ha, it doesn't mean you're all that. <laughs> I like her, man. She, 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 she gets, on the, it gets mad kind of well fast. Crosses a line. Dealing with her is nothing but balancing the cosmic scales. She's dangerous, not just to me, to your brother. Imagine if Love sat in the house waiting for him. That'd be crazy. Oh, she shit me up there, mate. Yo, look at that, mate. Guy's not getting out of that. Look at that. Untie me. It's not Candace, it's... Uh, shit. I just... I, <clears throat> just um, save I, your lives for the cops. I'm not a film financier, you're a waitress. Barely. Spent a good few weeks in a mental hospital last year. No, the, the one thing I still don't understand is what you want with Will. His name's not Will. Christ. It's what? Joe Goldberg. He attacked me and almost killed me. I this only is came good. here to protect you. Before you went to Austin to date my brother or after. No, to protect all of you. <laughs> Why did you break into my home? Oh, I didn't break in. Who knows how to tie people up like this? This <laughs> woman is clearly some kind of perverted sex worker. <laughs> this is not the first time she has flicked on me. This is the first time I have been beaten and tied up for it, though. You're not rape fantasy guy. I'm not, not even, not even, not even a little bit. Come to LA with stars in their eyes, but few, if any, have the talent to make it. I'm inclined to untie you, but you try anything stupid. I throat punch you with my Louboutin, dick. Yes. Oh. I'm excited to see what she just oh. gave love as well. Hey, he's lucky to get away with that one, though. He is lucky to get away with that. Is that a goal? What she give her? Oh shit! Is she gonna be there? Yeah, he's so keeper. He's so good. Did she put shit in it. What's this? Oh, it's a picture of them two to go. time. My name is Joe. Joe Goldberg. Truth, man. He's hitting both nails right on the head right now. Why did she tell me that you buried her alive? That's what she believes. But there also must be some grain of truth because you look so pale right now. Candace is the reason I left New York. I had to leave my job. Guinevere you're back. But we went out on one date. I never saw her until months later I heard she passed away. You tell me how Candace knows about that. Why do you think it changed my name? I wanted to disappear and she followed me. Well, why didn't you tell me? I was terrified. You could call me Joe. <laughs> call me that fucking liar. 
call me the middle of the night. You know, the guy's worked it well. He's oh, looker. He's so looker. I have never loved anyone like this before. Me neither. Yo, the guy's got out of it. So hmm. That must have been hard for her to say. I thought he got out of it then. I thought he sweet talked it. What would be interesting, right, is, you know, he should have said, I told you, my girlfriend, yeah? I hurt, like, do you know, because at the start of the season, he was trying to stay away from from love, wasn't he? He actually was. He was the one trying to stay away. And he told her it was his past relationship. He didn't want, like, he was dealing with it. And he, he didn't want that to get involved in this way. He didn't want to hurt her the way he hurt her, etc., etc., X, Y, Z. And he should have played on that. Like, why didn't you tell me? Well, you know, I didn't plan this relationship. You, no, I, I wouldn't be like, you instigated it. But I was like, I was trying to tell you, man. I went through this head fuck here, mate. I had to leave the place that I was, leave my job, change my name, come here, try and start a new life. We steamrolled. I was... It was going well. I was trying to step back. He was trying to step forward. You know, we just got tangled up and this is where we are. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's interesting. It kind of fits with what he... Like, the, if he portrays it as we broke up XYZ and I left and changed my name, tried to get a new job, and now she's here, it does look like she's the one following him. It does. It's, so it kind of worked that way. I get where she's coming from as well, but I kind of think he should have played that card as well. Like, look, I did tell you about me my ex and we were struggling with it and we shouldn't be together like right now but it happened and it's great and i love it how long have you um how long have you known you lied yo this is well sad the actually is so sad oh more people need to know about that man like a lot of men actually pass away from it do you know what? That was emotional. It's really sad. You know, everybody's probably experienced something in their life in terms of cancer and a family member, a friend, and there's nothing you could do about it, mate. Once it attaches it, it's, it spreads like wildfire, honestly. It's crazy. And, you know, all the people suffering from it, I feel sorry for it, honestly. It's something that you can never anticipate and it just you can just wake up one day and have it. Now, uh, we see a lot of things about breast cancer and so we should. Everybody should go and get checked and make sure you... You know, you're looking out for each other, checking yourself and make sure you're okay, man, because you only get one life. But also as well, got to speak up for the testis testicular cancer as well, man. Like, a lot of that goes around. There's a, I know it's a crazy statistic, like one in seven men or something die of it. It might even be small and it might be like one in every four men die. But we don't hear about it a lot in the news. And I don't know if it's because men are afraid to obviously, like, express it, but we need to, man. Like, literally, we need to do whatever we can get behind it, you know, donate to cancer research and everything because it's a disease that we should be beating now in 2022 or looking to reduce it. And again, man, I do feel sorry for every single person that gets some sort of disease like that because it's nothing that you could do about it. It's not even your fault. It's just a look at the draw and it's really bad. It would be easy to blame Candace for this. And I do. I broke my own rule. But what is life without love? If it isn't Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Douchebag. Just like out of her airspace for a while. I went to bat for you. Uh, Why? Because it's nice having you around. But you are still more authentic than half the fuckers I know. Like I said, he's not a bad guy. Thank you for giving me another chance. And thank love for me, too. Land a second chances, am I right? Please do something. What? It's worse than I thought. How's it going? Um, this town enables rapists? No. Oh, this is quite a who's who. This is a lot, Delilah. I don't think I know that. Is is this okay? Oh, look at you asking for <laughs> consent. Very fucking woke. <laughs> and they, She's not in her right mind. I know it often once. This is bad. This whole thing that you're doing is a lot. And I have ten unpleasant phone calls I need to get to. You go after the whole town. But what if you tell your story? Yeah, people might come forward. Yeah, people come and stand by you. Do the same. you have to chase exactly. Them down. Thanks for the D, Will. Bye. That was good advice, man. I actually think it was really good advice. Once you find all of them, you are officially in the You've seen them all. There is no trap so deadly as the trap you set for yourself. One thing's for sure. You can't beat the donuts. That guy never eats donuts on his day life. You've seen his jawline. There's no chance that he eats donuts in his standard diet, mate. Literally, he's not feasting on it. He's not getting a glaze. He's not getting a chocolate. You know, he's not getting a jam. You know, like the guy's literally probably spitting that donut out as soon as he say he cut. <laughs> Interesting episode, you know. He's now a, 
a layer or whatever they want to call it, a town. I don't know, man. He hit the seven little things that they were saying. I was trying to clock them throughout the episode as he went across. I was kind of surprised that he's hitting them all in the one episode because they was kind of going on like it takes a while to, to, to see these things. How does a palm tree get put on fire? No idea. Is it because, I don't know, it's dry and it's sun and it, I don't know, maybe it reflects off a building, the the bright brightness and it gets too hot and burns? That's the only way I could think, um, unless someone's throwing it and putting it on fire. Interesting. I've never even seen a, a, a palm tree. I didn't even know it could go on fire, so that's that's new to me. But I knew that he'd end up sleeping with uh, Delilah. It was it was so obvious to me. As soon as he walked in, in her apartment, yeah, and he went over to the top and he gave her the thing, I even said, no, mate, you know. Uh, I referenced it. I said something. Chemistry, don't sleep together, something. I said it then. And, uh, you know, steamroll ahead to the end of the episode, and it's happened. Now, obviously, this was very interesting. Love's found out his real name. She's found out, obviously, about Candace. They were together. He kind of spun it very well even though their relationship looks like it's kind of ended right now but he, he spun it he done well enough to take suspicion away of the the killing and the stalker vibes and all that away and he kind of flipped it that he was the one that escaped she's the one that followed him he had to change his name that's why he's not on social media he didn't want to get tracked down she's found him she's the crazy one she's like well i paid her off she's gone she's not gone mate she's gonna buy the apartment that was for rent or for let or whatever inside this apartment block and she's going to stalk him even more. That's what I'm going to say anyway. I don't know. But I'm really interested as well in love. I like her. I think she's a great person so far. She seems really friendly, really lovable, really kind. She donates a food bank. She's got a nice little shop going. She's a baker. She, it seems real, like, to be fair. That's what I like. I like her smile. Seems like a great person, to be honest. I, I, I think... She's a good character. I actually don't want her to die. Now, I never wanted Beck to die, but I don't know. I'm getting different vibes off love. I actually really enjoy her. I think her personality is great. And I think that uh, I'm, I'm very interested in her. And who would have thought that I'd be a decent fan of 40 as well? I think he's all right. I like him. I hope that he gets his story done. I said it a few times. I hope he gets his film written, his directing thing. Whatever he wants doing, I want him to actually succeed in it. People will think that he's not going to. And this is, I'm all for the underdog. More for people thinking that somebody's not going to achieve something and get it done and they go out there and they smash it and they succeed and like it. So I hope he does as, uh, does well as well. But yeah, I'm enjoying the season. We've only got four episodes left. I'm excited to see how we go. I actually have no idea where the storyline's taking us. You know, with the other one, last season I could kind of envisage like a couple of people dying and that. And like maybe it was always a possibility of Beck dying just because of the way we was learning about Joe and his craziness. Now, this season, I don't feel like we could do the same story as season one. You can't rinse and repeat. So I'm interested to see how we actually finish off the final remaining episodes of the season. Okay, and that is going to wrap up episode six of You Season 2. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. So, Will is no longer Will. It's Joe Goldberg, and his, uh, his identity has been shown to well not just love but 40 knows as well you know like twins always going to tell each other everything now he said that he wants him to stay around he's going to resign so he wasn't working in the store he wasn't around though you know he didn't make things complicated he said that you know even though he did lie about his identity he's more real than most of the people here in la every single person seems to be fake i've got their own agenda going for it he doesn't really he's just here working in the bookstore he kind of likes love but he told him to just stay away from her just a little bit let it cool down and you know he's decent at the bookstore so stay around i like it now i'm interested to see what has actually happened with um with Amy or whatever because she's been paid off and she's also fed um she's fed love information as well she's told him about her how he tried to bury her and how about beck and then obviously about them and that she's here but then obviously she's done her own private investigating found that she's got no money she's moved there she's tracked joel down she's using a different name she may be using her brother for money because she hasn't got a place to live etc interesting she said she paid her off and she's gone away now has she actually done that if she has then that's interesting she was in it for the money but i don't think she was i think she's still trying to take joel down i think she's going to do it a different way and uh, i don't know how that's going to happen but i'm excited to obviously see how her story goes now i want delilah to manage to successfully do this story as well i actually am with Joe on the side of sometimes people are too scared. Like you go to the police or something and people say, 
this person was like a witness or them, that person was attacked and when the police ask him, they're like, no, I wasn't. Do you know what I mean? Even though they was because they're too scared. They don't want to come forward. They feel embarrassed, etc. But you just need that one person to maybe do something and they sit there and they can say, do you know what? That girl's gone through that struggle the same way I have gone through that struggle. I tell you what, if she's going to go through it, she needs somebody to stand by her and make sure that she can actually get her story out. I've been through the same situation with the same person. I'm coming forward. You know, two are better than one. We're stronger together. Next person, look at them strong girls coming forward with this traumatic experience that they've had. You know, I've been trying to suppress mine for all these years, but maybe it's been eating at me. Maybe it's affected my mental state that I didn't realise. Got two strong women here coming out and expressing their, you know, like their trauma. I'm going to go, mate. I'm going to express my story. And that is how it is. You need one person to come up and raise the voice. And then the other people that are around, you're not going to get every one of them, but you may get one or two that have actually suffered as well and come forward. And even if it's not Henderson, it's, uh, you know, it's Bill, it's Ted, it's Fred, whatever. They, If somebody has suffered that experience as well by the hands of anybody and they're too scared to come forward and they see somebody else, you know, like able to do that and get the confidence it might bring everybody else forward and that's what we need you know we don't want none of these scruffs that are going around doing this people thing to men women anyone kids can't get away with it mate if you do something you get caught literally you do the crime honestly you do the time i can't believe people do that stuff in real life and they do deserve to get caught so hopefully these girls and especially um, for the sake of the story, because it's Delilah, manages to get this story out and she manages to succeed and take Henderson down. Now, in terms of love, she's broken up with him. Now, even though he managed to do the spin, she said this is... She never loved somebody as much as she loves him, which is interesting because we've just been seeing the flashbacks of her with her husband um, and she said that's why it's so hard for the, to say this. We're done and she left. But I like the backstory of her husband. I think that her husband... Seems like a really nice guy. Uh, I think he was there, so he was sign language in. It was really... That's why she must know what this sign is. Um, it was really good. I thought the relationship was nice. I think, like, Love's personality is fantastic, me. I think she's a really nice human. She got upset that, um, you know, he knew for eight weeks that he had... Uh, I, I'm, I'm assuming... You should never assume because it makes an ass out of you and me. <laughs> but I'm assuming that he was referencing that he's got cancer. And I think he said... He said before he loses them as well. Now, I'm just putting two and two together. I'm thinking that he's talking about, obviously, his testicles, but maybe maybe not. But we'll we'll just go. He's got something wrong with him. He's new for eight weeks. He's disappointed that he held it for two months, he was saying, and not told that he was scared. He didn't know what to do. He didn't want to put his, you know, his wife in a situation where she stood there crying in front of him, feeling devastated. You know, it's hard to see that. Um I still like how she goes to his locker and she puts little things inside it. I know that obviously she's holding on to the past, but it's like a little memoir thing sort of thing and she can remember the good times that she had. So I think that she's a great person, to be honest. I don't blame her for breaking up with Joe. She had all this information, but she's still just be like, look, mate, you do you, but we, we can't be together. Which they are going to be together. He's going to worm his way back in. It's going to be fascinating to see. Well, I think the season's been really good and she's been a really good introduction, so I can't wait to see more of her. So thanks for clicking on today's episode. Hopefully you guys like it. If you do, please smash the like. It really helps out the channel. Subscribe if you're new. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers, guys.